today's Saturday, that means one thing. It is electronics palette video day. Pretty much the best day of the week when it comes to palette flipping. So every Saturday, I try to get at least one electronics palette for that week just for today. And I got one. So what I got, full MSRP of two huge boxes that came on one palette, MSRP, Amazon.com, $2,011. That's the full value if everything was new. It's not, it's customer returns. So realistically, most MSRPs might be about half of it because of the customer returns. Some lightly used, some really used. It all varies. But what I paid though, all I paid, $235. That's it. That's the price, that's taxes, that's fees, and that's premiums that I had to pay. $235. So that is a fantastic price. That's probably like a little over like 11%, I bet, in that range. So my goal is 10. I almost hit it. So all that matters though is electronics are, in my opinion, the ones I enjoy the most going through because of the cool gadgets and gizmos and video games and records and cool stuff you can get out of electronics from Amazon customer returns. Some things though can be brand new still. There can be brand new, but this top box is extremely heavy, it probably weighs 30 pounds. So it's got some things in here that have weight to it. What those might be, we'll find out. Okay, so right on top, we've got some records right on top. Can't beat that. Let's do those first, why not? I love my records. What do we got? Oh, cool, and we got a Beatles too? Big jazz band. Okay, let me, let's start this thing off with a bang. How's that sound? We have the Beatles. Oh, these are the Escher demos. Are you serious? Yes. This is, I think this is the same one I got out a couple weeks ago. But the one I got out is still factory sealed. I actually, I still have it over there in the corner with my other records that I'm keeping. So here's one that's opened up already. So I'll keep this one that's already been opened up and sell the one that's still factory sealed. So we got the white album. Disc three, disc four, one and two, all in there. Then they have another one with the Escher demos. So it's all in there. Everything here looks absolutely mint condition. So first item, I freaking love it. And I'm keeping this. And the one I already had that is still factory sealed, I'll be selling it. I don't need to. So, actually this thing brand new, I think it's about like what, 80 or 90 bucks brand new too. So this thing is not cheap. But yeah, keeping that. I love that. That's how you start a pout video with some freaking Beatles. You know what I'm saying? Next, we have, is this Drake? Yeah, it's Drake. Drake, it says Scorpion. Is this the uh, newest one? 2018, yeah, it's pretty new. I don't think I've even heard this album yet. I think I've even heard it, but yeah, Drake Scorpion 2018. It is a double record LP, both in there. I bet that's a good, probably used condition, but it's probably good, like, what, 20 bucks, I bet. This is why I love electronics, because you get out some cool records sometimes. Which band is this? I think this is possibly the last record in this box, unless there's some on the very bottom that's absolutely getting crunched by other stuff, which is what you don't want to see. You don't want weight on top of these records too much because it will warp them. Hey, what record is... Oh, that's freaking Queen! Look at the cover right there. 
That's Queen. I think it's actually, this is just what goes, you know, this is the record that's missing the actual cover of it. Man, it's stuck in there. It's taped in there. Why did you tape the record in there? So this is... Man, why did you do that? There we go. The Folk Album, Trini Lopez. Okay, <laughs> what is inside of this? This is not Queen. So, what they returned to Amazon was a group called the Folk Album, Trini Lopez. It's actually an old record, an old mono record. Like, this is actually like an old one. So, somebody at Amazon, they purchased a brand new Queen album. They kept the actual, like, cover for it. And they just returned some random, old, worthless record in the Queen, like, sleeve. And got their money back, so... That stinks. Oh well, it happens. Just another, you know, Amazon customer return scam where they buy something, they switch it out with something else, and they return it. Because I've, I've covered this, I don't know how many times, Amazon, they do not care what you send back to them. Because over 60% of, of all items sold on Amazon.com are sold by third-party sellers. It's not... Amazon's product. They don't own it. Over 60, I think it's like 64, 65 percent of all sales are done by people like me, where I just sell on their platform. So if Joe buys this from me, switches out the content, sends this back, Amazon doesn't care because they still get their selling fees. I don't get those back no matter what. They got paid. They don't care. So whenever a person pulls that bait and switch scam, Six times out of ten, you're actually ripping off third-party sellers, not Amazon. People don't realize that. Or they just don't care. Here is a cassette tape set. Big band jazz from the beginnings to the 50s. Amazon warehouse deal. Cassette tapes. So this is actually made in 1983. So it looks like a third party seller was selling some vintage cassette tapes on Amazon and somebody returned them. Huh, I have no clue that it has any value to it. Three cassette tapes, probably not much. Okay, so we start with the Beatles, then we had Drake. Then it kind of it went down really, really quick there, didn't it? It just, it, it went down. Let's get back up again, how's that sound? Let me grab something that should be a little bit more fun. Here's a CD. Who's this? Midnight Star. Uh, Midnight Star Freakazoid. Operator and no parking on the dance floor. 2016 CD. CD's good. Midnight Star, good five bucks. And, oh, we have a souvenir penny collecting book. So you collect pennies and put it into this book. Yeah, that's different. A penny collector book, that's probably a good 10 bucks, I bet. Oh, a big iPhone cord right there. Is that magnetic? It's kind of stuck to it. Maybe not. I don't know. Big iPhone cord. We have an Accurite. This is an outdoor thermometer gauge thing. The screen on it's cracked. It's on the floor. We're going to say it's even more damaged now. So, yeah. Anyway, let's keep moving. We have a blank DVD case. Which DVD is it? 
Xbox three or no, it's just Xbox. Platinum hits. 007 Agent Under Fire from the original Xbox. I don't know if that has any value to it. 2003? I don't know. I don't have to look, look that thing up. I'm not sure. iPhone cord. What's this? The Weekend Trilogy? Hmm. Everything's been taped shut with clear tape. So it is a one, two, three, three disc CD set of The Weeknd. So that's, oh, I think I've actually, I've received this before as a record, not as a CD. But The Weeknd Trilogy, three disc set, made in 2012. That could be a good, like, used condition. That might be like 10 or 15 bucks or something. I have to research that update later below once I find out price on that. That's, that's kind of nice. I'll update with more accurate pricing because I'm not sure how much it sells for used. The package says doorbell chime. We've got a Kiso doorbell chime. There's all the installation parts on it. So it hasn't been installed yet, it appears. Kiso K-I-S-O doorbell chime. I'll have to look that up, update below. Prices on that, because I'm not sure. Okay, let's pull out this crappy stuff right now. We have a thing of manila folders, 25 pieces, or yellow, two pocket leatherettes. Package is kind of beat out like 10 bucks for that. Then we got some computer paper. Multi-purpose, is this thick or thin? Well, that's actually the, the a good paper that I actually will keep. I have so much printer paper though. I've got enough printer paper to last me for honestly probably 20 years. That's not a joke either. Because uh, eh, I've got a lot of printer paper. What is this big mammoth of a thing? Oh. It's that Amazon Basics metal laptop stand. So just, you put your laptop on it, it props it up into the air. Then you can use a keyboard or a mouse or whatever. So I sell these things usually locally for about 10 bucks because how much they weigh, it's just not feasible to ship that out. Next we got a digital kitchen scale. Brand is E-Tech City. This brand actually reached out to me recently, E-Tech City, and they wanted to like collaborate with my YouTube channel to like do products with them and stuff. And uh, yeah, I just, I turned it down because I just wasn't too interested in advertising. Something like this where I'd say, oh, you know, I just got this, this in um, check it out. It's the best food scale on the market when I honestly don't know anything about food scales and what's good and what's bad. So, yeah. I turned down that, uh, I guess it's almost like a sponsorship. But with Eta it's not because their brands are bad. They actually make good stuff. It's just, I'm not a salesperson for items that I personally don't know much about. I would just start blabbing and it would, it would be horrible. So... But people who aren't YouTubers, you probably don't understand how many companies and products come to us and they want us to advertise for them, collaborate with them, sponsor videos, a lot of products. And uh, I, I honestly, I turn down the majority of them just because it's nothing that I know about. I can't talk 15 minutes straight about this company's kitchen scales and their bathroom scales and make it a cool video. It would just be a boring video. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy though, but sometimes you pass on sponsorships, you know? It happens. So yeah, folders. I just went totally just 360 right there, but yeah. E-Tech City. They make good products though, but I'm not the kind of pitch man that you want for stuff like that. 
because I'm not really tech savvy, savvy, tech savvy. Can't even talk right. Here is a just like a uh, print cartridge, yeah, for like a laser printer or something. Okay, I'll have to figure that out later. Here we go. Get back to some good, better stuff. We got a Blu-ray of Blurred Lines Inside the Art World. And that's taped shut, too. It's in there. I've never heard of this. It must be some kind of a documentary about art, or it just might be a movie. Eh, it's probably good, what? Eight, ten bucks, I bet. Use condition. We got a glass shield for iPhone 8 and 7 Plus. And it appears like, I don't think they've been used yet. No, look, they're, they're still in there. So a good 10, 10 bucks or so with the damaged packaging. iPhone cord. Here's just a basic power cord that yeah, or this is an extension cord. I'm keeping that. You can always use more extension cords. Workshop taller, 15 feet. What is this, like an extension cord? Yeah, it is. Extension cord. I'll probably keep that too, honestly. What we got? Well, here we got braided iPhone cord. Ignition protected waterproof. I'm not sure what this is. What are you? 60A ignition ignition protected. I don't know. I'm gonna have to research this thing. Figure it out because I honestly have no clue what that is. Man, what what is this? It's got weight to it. It's used and rusted bad. Yeah, it's just trash. Oh, is this a uh, stylus? Yeah. It's like a fancy stylus. Most styluses used, you know, if it's not like an Apple branded, you know, it's like as high as 10 bucks or so. It's an interesting looking case. Creative case for the iPhone XR, it says. It's a white henna case for iPhone XR. Cool looking case though. Yeah, good 10 bucks right there. We got two things left in this box. Here's called Plaid DIY Delivery Creative Ideas Made Easy. What is this? It's like a, sub a subscription box or something? Nope, not a subscription box. It is a thing of paints. Whole thing of paint. Brand is Folk Art Multi Surface Plaid. Let me grab my phone. See so how much this thing sell for. Looks like half are sealed and half are opened. So that kind of makes it kind of hard to sell open paint that might be a few years old because it's actually say 2013. So if it's been opened up, might not be any good. So Amazon it sells this two ounce sells for package quantity of three. It sells for eleven bucks a piece for three. So it's about three or four dollars a bottle. So like I'd probably sell them for like a dollar a bottle then. Eighteen bottles, you know. So probably just do like fifteen bucks. I'll probably sell this locally more likely. Last thing, box one. Man, it's got weight to it too. Oh, D batteries. Amazon branded D batteries. Yep, I'll keep those. Actually, I probably need to sell some batteries though. I've got enough batteries to last for 25 years. I've got enough printer paper and batteries to last me probably, literally, to like the next two decades at least. Anyway, let me box this stuff up. Right back at box number two. So this first box, it started fantastic with uh, the Beatles four record LP set of the White Album with the Escher demos. We had a Drake LP, and then it kind of just kind of went. Blah, blah, blah. It kind of bounced out, had some blurps to it, but it never really got back to that 
first Beatles kind of record. It never got back up there. So hopefully box two though, it, this wasn't bad though. For what I paid, it wasn't bad. So anyway, bear back. This box two probably weighs half of what box weighed, box one weighed. So box two probably has no printer paper in it because the other box had two, two or three things of printer papers and folders, which adds a lot of weight really quickly to these boxes. So this one, at least by weight, I don't, there's probably no printer paper in this one. So that's good. What do we have? Here, I see a record. Man, I'm trying to lift this thing up a little bit. Looks kind of nice. First thing, first thing on top. We have a return from Aaron Thing, who is from Georgia. Man, put the return label right on the retail box. Well, leave it on there, take it off later. But this is a anti-theft security case with stand. So I want to show the person's address, but it is an iPad security case with stand for the iPad Air. That could be probably good 20, 30 bucks, I bet. Let's grab this record. Ooh, two records. Any more records in here? Ooh, that's still factory seal, whatever that thing is. I think we got two more records in box number two. First one, we've got Nat King Cole, The Christmas Song. I might have to keep that. I don't think I have any Christmas albums in my collection. And freaking Nat King Cole. Yeah, like a, a, a lot of these that you hear, Nat King Cole singing is like what you hear on the radio. I'm, I'm probably going to keep this record because Christmas is pretty much just right around the corner in like eight months. So I got a Christmas record now. I'm going to, I'm going to keep that. Next we got Mumford and Sons. I think I know this group. It sounds familiar, but I'm drawing a blank of what good like songs that they've had. Man, somebody used like hardcore packing tape to make sure the record doesn't come out of this thing. Don't tear, don't tear. Don't tear the record. Don't tear the... Okay, we're good. Let's say, do, don't tear the cover. Don't tear the cover. Please don't. So carefully. Right here is a life of a reseller trying to take stuff off like this as carefully as possible. Perfect. So it doesn't damage the item so that whenever I resell it, I like I'll get top dollar for because the packaging, the cover is not damaged. Life of a reseller right there. We got Delta, Mumford and Sons, side one, side two. So it is a double LP. This is probably either $15 or $20 shipped, more than likely. Side three, side four, yep, they're all there. All the records, before I sell them, I actually tried them all out because one, I want to hear what a lot of these groups sound like that I'm not too sure what they're about, and two, because I want to make sure the record plays okay. Because some records can be warped, or they could be have little problems with the record. So, I always just like to try it out. 3M Work Tunes, Wireless Hearing Protector. I bought my dad a pair of this for Christmas last year. It was a little bit different. It was, it's, oh, this is the Bluetooth. Okay, the one I got him was not Bluetooth. These are the Bluetooth ones. So you can wear these, cut in the grass or something. You can connect to your cell phone. The ones I got him, I think just, just had like a cord to it. You can hook them to your phone if you wanted to. But yeah, I actually purchased these last December as a gift. And they're actually very popular. I've never received this ever as a return in my history of pout flipping. So, good item though. I think I paid like around 30 bucks, 25, 30 for the non-Bluetooth. So Bluetooth's probably 30 to 40 new. Used, probably like half of that. So like 20, 25 bucks I bet. Not bad item though. iPad case, 
purple lavenderish color plum, whatever you want to call it. Ten bucks. Ooh, what's this? One more triple driver in ear headphones. Come on, no earwax. No earwax. No, doesn't appear. So it looks, man, this thing looks fancy. You have all these different uh, like ends you can put onto these. So whatever you like in your ears, you can, man, this thing looks fancy. Huh, I want to look this thing up. Because this has that fancy look to it. And I'm kind of curious value of this thing. Let me fix this packaging and look this thing up and I'll be right back. Okay, so these things sell new for $79.99. Um, obviously the packaging has a little bit of damage to it. They're not factory sealed. They might have been lightly used at some point. I'm not 100% sure, yes or no. So these will probably go for at least around 50% of the retail value. So I'd say these are probably good, like what, 40 bucks or so, I bet. I bet so. It's not bad. Next. Plaque Seeker Tip. So we have one Plaque Seeker Tip, and this one's missing. That's, I, I can't sell that. Clipboard storage box. That is not very exciting. I cannot talk this thing up to make it sound cool whatsoever. It can't be done. So, so like this, I probably sell for like, like honestly, like about five bucks. Not very much. Oh, there's a cool band, Dream Theater. That's their newest album too that they came out with, Distance Over Time. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, this came out I think uh, a couple months ago maybe. Fantastic CD. If you if you're not a fan of Dream Theater, or I shouldn't say if you're not a fan. If you've never heard of the the band Dream Theater, I would check them out, especially if you like like rock music. That's a cool band right there. So that's a good uh eight dollars maybe in used condition. Here we have a watch. What kind of watch is this? Well, the band's a little bit broken on it. The brand is M-I-G-E-E-R, My Gear. It feels really cheap. Yeah, it feels extremely cheap, so that's probably not worth very much money. It doesn't feel like it's worth much money. Let me pull this thing out. It's factory sealed still. This could be some expensive. This is a Sun UV Smart Lamp Nail Lamp 2.0. Still 100% factory sealed. I need to look this thing up. I'll be right back. Okay, so this thing sells new on Amazon for $41.99. It's a 48 watt UV LED nail dryer for gels polish with a sensor. So it sells new for like 42 bucks. So that's actually a pretty decent item. So I'd probably honestly try to sell for like, like 30, just to, just to sell a little bit faster. Because I always try to beat Amazon pricing for new stuff and new stuff. So I'd probably do like 30 bucks in that, just try to beat, beat their pricing. And depending on where the person lives, I'd just charge shipping. It just depends on where they're located. Oh, here's a, a second one of the 3M Bluetooth. I just said I've never received this in a pallet, and then I just got two of them. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Let's see what we got. More glass protect. This is actually OtterBox, though. That is the good brand. I don't know what phone it's for. It does not even. Oh, Galaxy S8 Plus. Otter box protector, like 10 bucks on that or so. What is this? 
crazy fire. Front outer lens glass screen replacement repair kits. What is this? Okay, so literally it's just a screen repair kit. So most of these kits honestly don't sell for very much. I usually drop them pretty cheap, like five bucks or so. Honestly. Next. Smart rope. Smart rope, smart gym, connected jump rope, and mobile app. Adjustable rope length, thin and light for optimal jump rope. Wow. <laughs> smart jump rope? That looks kind of really freaking awesome. Look at that thing. A smart jump rope. I've never... I didn't know these existed. Let's look it up. I'll be right back. So it sells new on Amazon for $45. Wow. It tracks your jumps, calories burned, and your workout time. So new for 45. This obviously is not new. The package has been opened up. So I probably do like, you know, 30 bucks on it or so. See if it'll sell. This is says four in iPhone, iPad, or iPod. What are these? The brand is Z Sense. I'm not sure the light's gonna hit it just right so you can see the brand. Oh my, are you serious? It's just a fancy iPhone cord. Really? It's just a braided iPhone cord. In extremely fancy packaging. <laughs> the packaging probably costs more than what the iPhone cord cost to make. That's kind of funny. Two iPhone cords. Oh, we got a fast charge. We got a wireless charger for your devices that can charge wirelessly. Yeah, it looks to be looks to be new too. These I used to sell for about fifteen dollars for this brand. I've, I've got this brand. I don't know how many times. JBL Flip 4. Cool. I know a couple weeks ago we got a JBL Charge 3. Maybe it was last Saturday. Now I just got a JBL Flip 4. I know the Flip 4 sells for less than what the Charge 3 does. New or used? It is used. But it's in really good shape though. Very light usage on it. It's probably dead battery. Nope, it has charged it. Yeah, it sounds good too. The spears in it are not blown. Yeah, it sounds solid. It doesn't sound like that loose, shaky whenever it starts up and turns off. Yeah, it's good. Awesome. So I'm guessing this used is probably like what? 50, 60 bucks or so used. I'm guesstimating because of the prices of the charge three. But here's the flip four. Fantastic item. But like I said, 50, 60 bucks. It's in really, really good used condition or lightly used condition. A couple CDs. Oh, here's a factory. C oh, that's the same one from I think box one. That Midnight Star Freakazoid remix. But this one is factory sealed still. Yeah, good 10 bucks. Here we have a Bob Marley. Like a box set of Bob Marley. What is this? Bob Marley Songs of Freedom. Well, that's awesome. Oh, caught it. There we go. It was the book. So Bob Marley box set, Songs of Freedom. That disc is flawless. Looks like it's a possibly a four disc CD set with a Bob Marley book. Probably like what? 
five bucks a CD. So this could be like, I bet you used condition, maybe like a $20 set. New? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just guessing right now. But I'm saying this is probably about $20 used condition. But I've never seen this box set before. Next, what we got? Here's a Casio watch. Tape shut. Oh, brand new. Oh, it's that vintage looking uh, Casio data watch. With the calculator on it, that old school calculator. Brand new, so has a battery in it, it still works. Cool. Uh, I sold one a couple months ago. I got in the pallet. I mean, I got like 25 bucks for it, I think, if I remember correctly. This same Casio watch. Okay, next, we got maybe like 10 things left in here. Glass premium tempered screen protector. Looks like for like a tablet of some kind. Still factory sealed, probably like 10 bucks or so. Sony Extra Bass Wired uh, Earphones. These are like 20, 25 bucks. I've sold these before. They're rated very high though, so that's not a bad item to get. DVD, William Powell and Myrna Loy, Song of the Thin Man. It was like an old black and white movie. Mad about Mambo. But what's in there is not the same movie. What's in there is Mad about Mambo, and it's supposed to be Song of a Thin Man. So, donation stack. Asland. I think we just got some kind of a colorful watch. Very colorful. It's camouflaged blues and greens and teals. Still has the protective face on both sides of it, so it hasn't actually, like the protection hasn't been taken off of it yet. That's different. Aslan, it looks like just kind of a cheaper brand. Can't be very much money, there's no way. Oh, we got a camera lens, it looks like. These can get expensive. Oh yeah, we've got a we've got a camera lens. It is a Canon. What is this? Uh, label doesn't tell. Dang it! I wanted to do all kinds of research, figure out which one this goes to. Which lens this this that this is? I don't see any numbers on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Scratch that. This is the Photosy MD EF. Camera probably won't pick it up. It's very very small print right there. But Photosy F O T A S Y Photosy MD EF Canon like a uh, lens for a camera. That could be kind of fancy right there. Let's look it up. I'm curious. This could be like a big home run right here. I'll be right back. Well, I haven't found this lens yet. I've been looking on it on Amazon, eBay. Want to do just a little more research on it, but it looks like it's just a lens adapter actually. So with just being an adapter, it's probably not that expensive. Probably like $25 to $40 as an adapter, I'm guessing. So it's probably not as expensive as what I hoped it was, but still a decent item. Oh, VTech DX2 smartwatch for children. It's a good 25 bucks right there. Not a bad item. Oh, we got the Bohemian Rhapsody soundtrack right here. In my opinion, the best movie of 2018 was Bohemian Rhapsody. Fantastic movie based on Queen and Freddie Mercury. How's the CD look? Oh, it's fantastic. So being in Bohemian Rhapsody original soundtrack. That's by good 10 bucks used. Let's see what we got. Oh, we have a thing of chords. And oh, this is a actually there's a charging cord that goes to an LG behind the head like earphones. 
LG branded. So, eh, looking for earwax. Yeah, I see a little bit of earwax in them, so they are used. So that's probably, I have to clean them, like 20, 30 bucks. We got three things left in here. Not much. Simple touch. Oh, it's like a timer. If you want to plug something into the wall and put a timer on it. Two things. We've got a pop voice microphone. So if I ever wanted to, I, I, I'm not going to keep this, but you can plug this into your cell phone, record yourself on your cell phone and mic yourself up to this, make it sound a little bit better because cell phone microphones usually aren't the best microphones. Or I can plug this into my camera I'm using and do it that way. But yeah, that's a good 10, 15 bucks. Last item in two boxes, we have Darius Rucker. Mr. Hootie and the Blowfish himself. This is the home for the holidays CD of Mr. Hootie and the Blowfish. Oh, that CD is heavily damaged. Hootie will not be working. It's got some very, very deep gouging on the CD. Looks like whoever bought this didn't like Darius Rucker or something. That thing is heavily damaged. Yeah, that, that's, that's not going to play. You can't fix that. So not, not a good item. So that's all we got. That's all two boxes. Wasn't bad. I paid $235. I got my money back. Plus I made profit. Uh, probably not huge, huge profit, but I at least doubled my money, I bet. And I got a cool, the first item out of both boxes ended up being the best thing. Pretty sure it was. The Beatles White album, uh, four LP Escher demos. So the one that I have that's factory sealed from a previous palette, I can sell that one, keep this one, and sell the other one, you know, for brand new prices because it's still sealed. So that's awesome. So I got out one awesome record to keep for myself. So that's exciting. So anyway, hopefully this was enjoyable for you to watch. This is an electronics Amazon customer returns palette. These are the kind of items you can expect to get in Amazon customer returns, you know, like you saw quite a few items that looked like they were just used one time by the customer, like played, they probably downloaded it to their computer and then they just returned it. So lots of items would be very, very lightly used. Some of them were brand new, like this uh, nail drying thing that's buried right now. That was still had the factory wrap on it. That was still factory seal. So you'll have used, you'll have new, you'll have some damaged Darius Rucker CDs that you can't fix. They're not salvageable. So, but this is fun though, you know? This is my full-time job, this is what I do. I pallet flip for a living, and it's fun. It's like Christmas every single day. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and I will see you very soon with videos every single day. Coming up this next week, be on the lookout. Some days I will upload twice in the same day. So just because you see a video drop at eight o'clock, there might be one dropping at 10 or 11. So be on the lookout for double upload video days. I do at least two, two or three times a week now. So anyway, I'll see you soon. I'm out.